Welcome back to my channel, it's Blake Nolani. So today, what we are going to be doing is decorating the Christmas tree. I'm so excited. And can you believe it? Everything that I got was from Walmart and everything was roughly $100. That's it. So I'm so excited to share this with you all. I posted my tree on Instagram and got more of a response than I thought I would. I was not expecting as much feedback about my tree as I got. So I'm so excited to share this with you all and I hope you all enjoy. So let's go to Walmart. Woohoo! If you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell. And also give this video a big thumbs up. It really helps out the channel. All right, let's go. All right, so we are in Walmart now, and the first thing in the Christmas section I see are all of these beautiful Christmas ornaments. They have so much character, and they are so different, and they all are so affordable. Also, they have these here. They are $17.88 for a 50 count. And this is the color that I'm looking for. So I'm going for a green, gold, and a white, something neutral. And these here are 40 pieces for $9.98. I really liked this neutral ribbon here, and I think I'm going to go with this one as well. It's 35 feet, and it's $7.98. Here are the beautiful Christmas bells and Christmas bows. I was drawn to these little fuzzies here and I thought that these would be so cute. These are only $1.48 and I did get five of them. And here are the Christmas trees in Walmart, you guys. I was looking everywhere for a Christmas tree. I looked on Amazon, Target, and I just so happened to stumble across this tree here that was $69 and it's a six and a half foot flocked Frisco pine tree and it's $69 and it does come with some warm Christmas lights already on it and I thought that this would be absolutely perfect okay so here is that same six and a half foot tree and I like it. It was super easy to assemble. So it comes with the base and the screws. And you just connect part C to part B. And then part B to part A. Extremely easy. This is the Christmas skirt that I have. It actually was a gift to me from my mother-in-law and I think I'm just gonna use this back side of it it goes with the neutral browns and the flocking from the Christmas tree gets everywhere so I have to constantly sweep that's the only down part about the tree these are the bulbs that I went with I saw this color on Pinterest and this is exactly what I was looking for so I'm super excited to decorate the tree I did buy the fuzzies and I did buy five of them and they do have these awesome little clips on them so I'm just going to clip them to the tree. I did go with these as well. I think they came in a pack of six and they were about two to three dollars. And I wasn't sure how I felt about these but I was just going to try them out. I was in love with the color and here is a solid pattern one as well. And this is the bow that I decided to go with. It was $6. And I ended up going with this ribbon here. 
all right so i am going to start with the ribbon up top and i'm just going to gather all of the ribbon here and kind of hug the tree and wrap the ribbon around kind of in a diagonal pattern um i kind of want the ribbon to be a little bit slanted and going down and wrapping around the tree and here is kind of the first go around but you also have to kind of play with it and kind of tuck the pieces and get them exactly how you want them to look Next, I am going to just clip these little cute fuzzy pieces on the tree. It kind of goes with the flocking um, on the tree. It's just a subtle touch. And so now I'm going to bring out those warm brown tones on the tree. You can't really see these too much, but they make a subtle difference. Next, I'm going to add a little bit of sparkle and going to go with this gold color here. Next, I am going to go with the beautiful green color here. And they did give two patterns. Next, I am going with the beautiful crisp white, and they did give two patterns in the white as well. Next, I'm going to go with these ball of yarn looking bulbs. I have no idea how this is going to look, but I'm just going to try it out here and see if I like it. My goal for putting the bulbs on is just to kind of put them in the empty places on the tree. I don't want too many to be too close together. That way the tree won't look too full. I just want something kind of soft and subtle and not too much. Next, I'm going with the disco ball glitter here. And now it's time to add the bow. And all I'm going to do is just wrap these two wires around the top of the Christmas tree. And that is it. I will probably end up changing out this bowl though. I'm not sure how I feel about it. I want something a little bit more high end, but I am loving the neutral warm tones that this Christmas tree is bringing. I absolutely love the colors. I still wanna change out that bow though. I think I'm going to change it out for something more so like this but I really love the colors that are flowing together. And the ball of yarn looking Christmas bulbs, they kind of work, so I think I'm gonna keep them on there. And this is the tree lit up. I really enjoy decorating this tree. It only took me about 30 minutes to do everything from assembling the tree to getting all of the decorations on there. And I didn't use that many bulbs. So if you do get this tree, you can go with the smaller amounts of bulbs that are in the box. I think I got the 50 count. I probably only used about maybe 20. So you can save a little bit of money from there everything only cost me about a hundred and eight dollars from walmart so if you're looking for affordable christmas decorations definitely do not skip walmart 
I hope you all enjoyed this video. Definitely give it a big thumbs up and subscribe. And I'll catch you all in my next video. Take care.